Gold Grain Morphology Analysis Gold grain morphology analysis is a critical method in exploration geology, used to interpret the origin, transport history, and depositional environment of gold particles found in both primary and secondary deposits. This technique involves the detailed study of the shape, surface texture, and internal structure of individual gold grains collected from sediments, soils, or placer deposits. At its core, Gold grain morphology analysis seeks to understand how physical and chemical processes have altered the appearance of gold grains during their journey from the original bedrock source to their final resting place. The shape of a gold grain, whether angular, subrounded, or rounded, provides valuable clues about its transport distance. For instance, angular grains with sharp edges typically indicate a proximal source, meaning the gold has not traveled far from its bedrock origin. Conversely, smooth and rounded grains are a sign of long-distance transport, where abrasion and mechanical wear have progressively modified the grain's surface. Surface texture is another crucial parameter examined under high magnification, often using scanning electron microscopy SEM. Textural features such as pitting, polishing, microfracturing, and coating layers reveal the history of chemical weathering and mechanical stress. These microscopic details can help geologists distinguish between grains formed by primary hydrothermal mineralization and those reworked into secondary placer environments. In addition to physical attributes, gold grain morphology analysis may also include microchemical characterization, often performed using electron microprobe analysis or laser ablation ICPMS. This provides information on trace element composition, such as Ag, Cu, or Hg which can be used to identify specific or systems or distinguish between multiple gold sources within a single drainage basin. By integrating morphological and geochemical data, geologists can reconstruct the pathways of gold dispersion, map potential upstream sources, and define exploration targets with greater precision. This makes gold grain morphology analysis an indispensable component of indicator mineral studies, especially in regions where bedrock exposure is limited and direct sampling is difficult. Ultimately, the study of gold grain morphology not only contributes to exploration success but also enhances our understanding of erosional processes, sediment transport dynamics, and placer formation mechanisms, bridging the gap between mineralogy, sedimentology, and economic geology. Gold Grain Morphology Classification Gold grain morphology classification is a systematic approach used to categorize gold particles based on their shape, surface texture, and degree of wear, providing valuable insights into the provenance, transport history, and depositional environment of gold within geological settings. This classification method serves as a bridge between mineralogy, sedimentology, and exploration geology, helping researchers trace gold back to its original source and understand the processes that shaped it along the way. The classification of gold grain morphology generally involves several key parameters. Shape and roundness. The external shape of a gold grain is one of the most significant indicators of its transport history. Grains are typically classified as angular, subangular, subrounded, or rounded. Angular grains preserve sharp edges and irregular outlines, implying minimal transport and direct derivation from a nearby bedrock source such as a quartz vein or sulfide-bearing rock. Subrounded and rounded grains, on the other hand, suggest prolonged mechanical abrasion during fluvial transport in rivers or streams, indicating a secondary placer origin. Surface texture and deformation features the microtextural characteristics of gold grains, observable under a scanning electron microscope SEM, or reflected light microscope, provide further clues to their history. Features such as pitting, polishing, striations, flattening, and microcracks are recorded and categorized. Pitted or corroded surfaces may reflect chemical weathering or dissolution processes during transport. Flattened grains often result from mechanical stress or deformation within sedimentary environments, indicating repeated reworking. Coating and composite structures. In some classifications, attention is also given to surface coatings, such as iron oxides, manganese oxides, or clay films, and composite grain structures, where gold is attached to other minerals. 
These coatings can modify the appearance of gold grains and affect their behavior in sedimentary systems, influencing sorting and concentration in placer deposits. Degree of liberation and core composition Morphological classification sometimes includes the degree of liberation, whether the gold grain is fully free or still attached to gang minerals. Additionally, core composition can be analyzed to differentiate between pure gold and electrum, gold-silver alloy, further refining the classification system. Several classification schemes have been proposed by researchers. One widely recognized system divides gold grains into three major categories. Pristine grains, exhibiting sharp, unmodified edges and minimal wear, indicative of primary sources. Modified grains, showing partial rounding and surface alteration due to moderate transport. Reshaped grains, highly rounded and polished, signifying extensive reworking in secondary environments. Through this classification, geologists can infer the distance from the source, nature of the depositional process, and potential target zones for exploration. For example, in glacial terrains or alluvial systems, mapping the morphological variations of gold grains downstream can reveal the direction of glacial flow or fluvial dispersion, leading to hidden or undiscovered gold mineralization zones. In modern exploration, gold grain morphology classification is often combined with microchemical analysis, enabling the creation of morphochemical maps that integrate both physical and compositional data. This holistic approach provides a powerful tool for indicator mineral surveys, especially in regions with limited bedrock exposure or heavy overburden. In conclusion, gold grain morphology classification is more than a descriptive exercise, it is a diagnostic tool that transforms individual gold grains into geological messengers, each carrying information about the processes, pathways, and origins of one of Earth's most valuable metals. Gold Grain Morphology Study the study of gold grain morphology represents one of the most powerful and cost-effective tools in modern exploration geology. It provides a direct link between microscopic observations and macroscopic geological processes, allowing geologists to interpret the origin, transport mechanisms, and depositional environments of gold found in various sedimentary settings. A comprehensive gold grain morphology study integrates field sampling, laboratory analysis, and data interpretation, producing valuable insights into both primary mineralization and secondary dispersion systems. At the heart of a gold grain morphology study lies the principle that the physical characteristics of gold grains, their shape, size, surface texture, and internal structure, preserve a record of their geological history. Each gold grain, whether found in soil, stream sediment, or placer deposit, acts as a miniature archive of the processes that have shaped it over time. 1. Objectives of Gold Grain Morphology Study The primary objective is to determine whether the recovered gold grains originate from primary load sources or from secondary placer environments. By analyzing their morphology, researchers can estimate the distance and direction of transport from the source rock. The degree of mechanical wear and chemical alteration experienced during sedimentary movement. The potential type of mineralization, such as epithermal, mesothermal, or orogenic gold systems. 2. Sampling and laboratory techniques. Gold grain morphology studies begin with careful sampling of sediments, typically from active stream beds, glacial tills, or soil horizons. The samples are processed through gravity concentration and panning to isolate the heavy mineral fraction, which includes gold. Individual gold grains are then hand-picked under a binocular microscope for further analysis. Microscopic studies are performed to document the shape and roundness of each grain, classified as angular, subangular, subrounded, or rounded, as well as to identify surface textures using scanning electron microscopy SEM. SEM imagery reveals microfeatures such as abrasion marks, pitting, grooves, microfractures, and chemical etching, all of which record the history of mechanical and geochemical processes that have affected the gold. 3. Interpretation of morphological features. Angular and irregular grains usually suggest a proximal source, meaning the gold has undergone minimal transport and likely originated from nearby bedrock veins or mineralized zones. 
Rounded and smooth grains indicate long-distance transport and extensive reworking within fluvial or glacial systems. Flattened or deformed grains may result from mechanical stress during sediment compaction or fluvial tumbling. Pitted or corroded surfaces provide evidence of chemical weathering or oxidation under varying pH and redox conditions. By correlating these characteristics, geologists can infer not only the source-to-sink pathway but also reconstruct the post-depositional processes such as redeposition, chemical precipitation, or biogenic modification. 4. Integration with Geochemical Data Modern gold grain morphology studies often combine morphological examination with microchemical and isotopic analysis. Using techniques such as electron microprobe, EMP, or laser ablation inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry, LICPMS, the trace element composition of each grain is determined. Elements like silver, copper, mercury, and bismuth serve as geochemical fingerprints that distinguish between different gold sources, even when morphological differences are subtle. This integrated approach, called morphochemical analysis, has become a cornerstone of indicator mineral exploration in glaciated and covered terrains. 5. Applications in Exploration and Research Gold grain morphology studies are widely applied in mineral exploration programs, especially in regions where bedrock is hidden beneath thick overburden. By mapping the distribution and morphology of gold grains across a drainage basin, exploration geologists can identify upstream source areas and prioritize drill targets without the need for expensive geophysical surveys or trenching. In addition to exploration, morphology studies also contribute to understanding paleoenvironmental conditions, erosional dynamics, and placer formation mechanisms, providing a broader view of landscape evolution in gold-bearing regions. 6. Scientific and Economic Importance The significance of gold grain morphology studies extends beyond exploration. These studies help clarify how mechanical and chemical processes interact in natural systems to control the mobility, concentration, and preservation of gold. From an economic perspective, understanding these processes directly influences resource assessment, recovery efficiency, and environmental management in placer mining operations. 7. Conclusion in essence, a gold grain morphology study transforms tiny gold particles into powerful geological indicators. Each grain tells a story, of its birth in deep hydrothermal systems, its liberation through weathering, and its migration through rivers and sediments. When studied collectively, these grains reveal the hidden architecture of gold dispersion systems, guiding exploration efforts and deepening our understanding of Earth's mineral cycles.